Okay, here we are again, back in the garage. Um, the other day I did uh, the wind deflector here and I did uh, soft lowers. Um, and last year I did the heated hand grips. Um, I think these three items here should be sufficient, the bike wise, for cooler riding. I mean, I rode down to where it was about 28 degrees. And I did it without these two here. Um, but obviously my legs were getting cold and uh, it was it was it was pretty brisk. I don't ride very far to go back and forth to work in that type of weather, but if I was going for a longer ride, uh, then I use a balaclava. I'm sorry, I have a balaclava for my helmet, so it covers my face, so I'm all good there, and I wear a nice jacket and stuff. I could probably get wear get away with wearing chaps or something, but I don't have any, and I honestly I don't really like them that much. Uh, but <clears throat> today. Today I'm going to replace the console here. Um, I tried to the other day, I don't know if you can see right here, I tried to take this off, right here. I was curious if you could remove this, and you cannot. As you can see, I damaged it. So you can see it in there or not. I damaged it, so I'll end up replacing this little insert piece here. I'll put some heat to it and I'll end up pulling the whole thing off. But this is coming off, so it's not really that important right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the seat and by doing that, I need to take this screw out here, take out one of these straps here, I'll probably take out this side here, and then you gotta take the two panels off. From what I remember, I haven't done it in a while, and um, I think there's two screws under here, but I don't call me on that, it might might not be. It might just come right off, I, I don't remember. So, let me get to taking those screws out, and then uh, <laughs> we'll pull it off of there. And then we're gonna take and swap out the whole console. So, all right, let's get to doing that. Okay, I've removed the rear screw here. I removed this side screw here, which allowed me to pull the strap out and leave it over here. And then uh, it looks like these two screws are identical. They, uh, they look like this. You can see my hand right here. They look like they're exactly the same, so I wouldn't worry about mixing them up. So and it looks like the seat just comes out. Yeah, that's it. Seat is removed. And then we'll have a, a nut right there, and then we'll have a, a screw up on the front as well to take off. There's one right up in there. So, looks like it's probably gonna be standard. I'm assuming Harley's are standard. So you got an Allen screw and you got a, a bolt down there. So I'm gonna get doing that. <laughs> that got pretty dirty under there, huh? <clears throat> I'll get taking that off, and I believe you gotta also have to remove your fuel cap uh, to pull the console out, okay? Okay, well it seemed to be a 3.8 socket and a four millimeter Allen wrench to do a little Allen screw. I don't know why the metric fits so well, but it did. And then I believe now it's loose. So I'll take the gas cap off. We should be able to remove it. I'm gonna set this stuff down. Pull the gas cap off. Leave that there, because I wanna put it back on, and I should be able to remove it. So you've got a little bit of tangling going on down here. So I'll have to remove some of the clips and the vent hose and stuff. So let me get to that before I scratch something. Okay, so I removed it. Um, looks like one's for the fuel pump and one's for the vent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the tank down with some, uh, right here, some uh, Adams waterless wash to get some of the dirt off of there. And then we'll get to putting the, the new one together and we'll open up in the box over there, okay? Okay, we're gonna unbox it now. So we have in here is the new console. All wrapped up really nice. Right there. Yes, we're going with black. And it's gonna go right on here. Like that. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty sweet. 
I was uh, not too sure about this in here, but we'll see. So let me set you up, and then I'm going to put this thing together and pull the rest of the parts out. So that's console out. Look at this shoved in there. Uh, it comes with a new rubber grommet right here. Uh, some, some of the hardware right here. This is the new clips you get stuck on for the, retaining the wire, and it looks like new fasteners. Got the rubber guides that go on each side. That's what's in that box. <coughs> this is going to be the new lock or the release push button assembly. Um, it looks like it might come with all the hardware as well. Let's take a look. So here's the new push button. Looks like everything's on there. And here's the hardware. So yeah, it looks like it comes with everything. And I believe the screws to attach it to the tank, which here's the hinge catch right here. I believe the screws for these are actually in this bag here, which is that's what it looks like. So in order to actually put the door on, you need to buy a new door or replace the console, you need to buy this as well. Or you could swap it over from your other one, I guess. So those are those two pieces there. And then the door here. Here's the actual door. It looks like it also comes in with some hardware in it. And then here's the door. So it's nice and wrapped up and protected. So there's the door. Okay. So I can give you plenty of instructions for everything. I don't think there's anything more in here. I am not going to bore you with assembling that step by step, so I'm going to take that inside. It's a little chilly outside right now. I'm going to take that in the house. I'm going to put the new console together. And then I'll cut you guys back in as I install it back on the motorcycle. Okay, got the new console together. Uh, these screws here and here, here and here, and the two for the, the lid here, these here, they are self-tapping. So what I did is I set a towel down underneath and I drove them in first, nice and straight, to make sure they would go in well. I did the same thing with the cap, with the fuel door cover. Just to make sure it will go in. Obviously, I'm gonna have to clean it up a bit. It's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit dirty from my hands, but uh, we can get it in place now. So let's go do that. All right, let's get this thing installed. Obviously, I pulled the fuel cap off. We're gonna have to uh, place our wires as well. Our wires and our hoses. So this one's gonna go on the one on the right side. These two go on the left side. Gotta connect my vacuum line first. So that's connected. I'm gonna route that up and route the wire up. I don't think the wire was in there, I'm gonna leave the wire out. Well, maybe it is. I'll put I'll pin it in there, it's not that hard. That is pretty much it. I gotta have my intercom, my communication kit hooked up so that kind of place to be where I need to be. So that's it for that. I gotta put the front screw in, the rear screw in, and council will be done right there. Okay. So I gotta move this a little bit. Be good. We'll get that tied down.
start on the stupid clip. I didn't like the way this one started back here, so I'm going to back it out and uh, reef it to make sure it's in straight. Because it seems to be pinching. And I don't want to cross that up. So I'm going to hold the bracket down with my hand and then start it. Okay, nice and tight. <clears throat> I'm going to get some uh, detail spray. I'm going to wipe that down real quick before I put the seat back on. Try a little bit. Looks like a scratch already. What the hell? Straightforward, put it back together. This is a clean, easy mod. A little pricey, but I like it. Because I figure out what the hell is going on with that scratch right there. I could probably just touch it up with some black paint. Black touch up paint from Dr. Color Chip. But we'll see. I might have did it when I assembled it. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think I did. But how do you prove something like that? I thought I looked it over.
You might be able to see it right there. Okay, so what do you think? I think it's all pretty sweet. When I get uh, a few more pieces changed over, I got the rear brackets to install. I'm gonna do that next. There's all insert brackets here. I got those, and eventually I'm gonna do the marker light in the back or the tail light. Uh, then we're gonna do some of the stuff on the blackout, some of the stuff on the engine. Um, and then we got the front lights, and I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave the bars, the uh, the, the levers. Um, I might leave the crash bars. I haven't decided. I think I might change those over too, but I'm not sure. But we're going to do a few pieces on the motor. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the whole kit or if I'm going to do the individual because I kind of like this design that I'm going for here. I'm the same one here. So I might go with that same type of look on a couple of the pieces there. So we'll see. I'm not changing over the pegs either. I can always put the, <coughs> excuse me, I can always put the console back if I don't like it. Or even maybe change the insert. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put the insert like for the original one in this one. Yank yank this one out and put that other one in there. Maybe we'll see. These are basically stuck in with a two-way tape. Put some heat to it and be gentle with it, and you can pull it out. So, or maybe this doesn't have anything in it. I don't feel anything. Yeah, this doesn't have anything in it. I gotta buy the insert separate. There's nothing in there. That's plain without it. So I'm going to have to buy an insert anyway. So who cares about that little scratch in the middle? Yeah, I thought this was actually, in, there's an insert in here. i got to buy it. I didn't find it uh, listed. So I'll have to find that and stick it on there. That's funny. Yeah, maybe they didn't care about that section. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.